WWE fan Tachi here. Today I'm bringing you guys one of the most exciting unboxings ever on this channel. These figures are so sought out for, it's ridiculous. Like just today, which is August 3rd on the date that this is filmed, I woke up at like 6.20 in the morning and I drove all the way to Walmart and was one of the first three people in Walmart, went to the aisle on the release date of the AEW figures and there was nothing there. So I, I was pretty sad because I woke up super early and I was exhausted. I came home and I was pretty bummed and then a few hours later I got a knock on the door. I looked and the package of the unrivaled Series 1 AEW All Elite Wrestling figures is on my doorstep. Everybody's going wild. Everybody's going crazy for these figures. I was too and I still am. And then we got the full set today and I'm so pumped. So this is from Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code TANNER, T-A-N-N-E-R, all caps, to save 10% at checkout at Ringside Collectibles. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you can't find your figures at your Walmart, just give up on the Walmart idea. Go to Ringside Collectibles, use that discount code, and you're for sure going to get the full set without stressing and wasting gas. Just get the figures on Ringside Collectibles. And guys, look at that. The nice gold packaging. Let's start with the first figure, my favorite young buck. We have Nick Jackson right there, looking fresh. And this set means a lot to me because every attire and gear from this set is from Double or Nothing, the first AEW show that I went to. And I got to experience all this, so it's like I'm getting the figures from that show. So I'm super pumped, and that's like the main reason why I'm super, super pumped for these figures. Uh, next up, we have Matt Jackson, freaking awesome. Both of these guys are super talented, and I am super excited to have these figures in hand. Uh, next up, we have Brandy, Cody Rhodes' wife, or I guess Cody. I, I don't. It's so weird how that works because let's see on here, Cody. Yeah, it's so weird how she can have Brandy Rhodes on the package, but he can't say Cody Rhodes. I don't know if that's WWE's thing or I have no idea. That's so confusing. Leave it in the comments if you know more about it. Uh, and then we have the Chris Jericho. Now, this figure is super interesting because it's, while it's similar to the, a little bit of the bubbly one, it has its differences, and we're going to point those out in the video today, so stay tuned for that. And then we have the two figures I was most excited for. So I was planning on, if I found any of the figures, if I found the full set, if I was only going to get one, because I ordered an extra Kenny Omega online a few months ago, but if I was going to only get one, I would get the Cody. And we have the Cody today, and this figure just looks phenomenal. It's when he battled his brother Dustin Rhodes at Double or Nothing, and that match, some say, was probably the best match of that year, and I agree, that match was insane, emotional, it was an awesome match. Uh, and then this was the main event, Kenny Omega debuting his pink gear, which is my favorite Kenny Omega gear he's ever worn, uh, and it comes with his entrance gear. And this is This is arguably the one that I'm most excited for, because people have been making customs and just... They've been like trying so hard to make the perfect Kenny Omega, sculpting new faces, and now we have the real product of Kenny Omega in hand. Now you can have all your matches between Finn Balor, AJ Styles, Kenny Omega, the three Bullet Club leaders. That's going to be epic. epic. So uh, yeah, guys, if any stop motion makers or pick fetters are watching this right now, make that match happen. Finn Balor, AJ Styles, Kenny Omega, I want to see that. Since this is the first time we're ever seeing the unrivaled Series 1 figures, which are like the elites of the AEW line. Uh, we're gonna take an in-depth look at the boxes. So let's look at the Kenny, uh, the Cody Rhodes right here, or the Cody. Uh, it's really cool. We have a picture right there of Cody in his suit. Very awesome. And then we have Cody himself in the package. It reminds me a lot of Jax back in the day. I just love this packaging. Um, and then we also get the unrivaled logo and it says collection eight plus. And then it says Cody on the side in that nice gold. Also some brick in the background. Also says number one, series one. So I guess he's number one in the series. All Elite Wrestling, AEW. Freaking awesome. There's the back. Just, this is what I love about this. I love when uh, in the action figures they tell you when the gear was from. Like that's really helpful for like some wrestling fans who don't know when that gear is from. I think it's just epic when you know and it tells you what wrestling event or show it was from. And, as you can see right here, it says Double or Nothing, 2019 Las Vegas, Nevada. And we have the signature, and there's the rest of the figures in the set. 
and there's the other side. So now that we have an in-depth look at the box, we're going to get these figures cracked open in uh, the WWE fan talk show fashion. So I'm going to snap in three, two. Alrighty, guys. So we have the figures out of the package. I've posed them a little bit. I've gotten to see how they are and the other figures other than Chris Jericho. Uh, just because we had the little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho, and we got that first look, but now I got to see the other body mold. So we're going to do the Chris Jericho last. And we're going to start off with my favorite one in the set, which is Kenny Omega, former leader of the Bullet Club. I don't even really know what happened with that. I think they just kind of like stopped calling themselves the Bullet Club because Tamatanga and all the other guys started their Bullet Club. Anyways, let's start off with the Kenny Omega. So the Kenny Omega comes with his entrance gear from Double or Nothing 2019. Comes with his gauntlet thing right there. Nice silver detail, which is removable. And they also do the plastic. I love how... Jazzwares does this. They put the plastic in there so in package and <laughs> when they're uh, packaged that they don't get scraped or anything or smeared with the paint or rubs off. And this is a nice uh, rubber material so you can take it off. Soft rubber. And you just put the hand right back on. Has the bang thing right there. Pretty awesome. Here's his entrance coat jacket situation. Super cool. I can't seem to get this buttoned all the way, but I think... Oh, wait. Did I get it? Almost. You have to put a little bit of uh, pressure onto it, and you'll get it. Uh, but we have the nice silver going throughout. There's the back with the pink highlights, the one wing angel. Very cool. Now let's get the coat off of Jericho. I mean, let's get the coat off of Omega. If I said Chris Jericho at all, Chris Jericho at all in the past like 30 seconds, forgive me. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, this Kenny Omega is freaking ridiculous. So freaking awesome. It's exactly what the Kenny Omega figure should look like. The body mold that is identical to Kenny. I don't think any other figure is probably going to come with this torso. This looks just like Kenny Omega's torso. Um, we have the arms, double jointed arms. Very cool. We have the, uh, these are like the mic holding hands, I guess. And then we have the bang hands. And we have the head sculpt right here. So awesome. Looks just like Kenny Omega. You don't have to use your Daniel Bryan head sculpts anymore to sculpt hair onto it. You can use your Kenny Omega head skin now. Has that nice kind of grayish black look to it. He did have like a grayish black look. So I can tell uh, in the lighting compared to the pictures that there is some gray in there. So it is pretty accurate. Uh, and then we have the tights right there. We have the K Omega right there. I loved how unique and different this gear was. It almost looked kind of like spray painted on. And then just the kick pads looked epic. See how it kind of looks like the spray paint kind of type look? And then the kick pads has all this like cool, magical looking, all this, I don't know, pink stuff. It's so awesome. I love all the highlights. Um, we got the straps just like on his real gear. And if you guys are wondering, the knees bend excellent. So you can get that V trigger on where he knees the guy in the face. There is a nice point to the foot right there, and there is ankle pivot as well, if you guys were wondering. Uh, the legs are on ball joints right there, so that's excellent. Um, and then just the articulation on this smokes the Mattel figures, not putting the Mattel figures at, down at all. Uh, but we don't get the ab crunch, but it, it crunches even further than the ab crunch. And the reason for this is because up here in the upper torso, it is hard plastic, and right here it's like a rubber more skin like material with abs so it allows it to bend better and then this is also on a ball joint and if you guys are wondering uh, you can remove this so if you ever wanted to do customizing you can remove it because it's on a ball joint so if you ever wanted to do torso swaps or whatnot you don't need to actually crack the torso anymore you could just pop it on like so um, and just overall an excellent Kenny Omega I can't even believe I'm holding a Kenny Omega action figure in my hand like, if I got none of the other figures and just the Kenny Omega, I would be satisfied just because Kenny Omega is one of my favorites in the entire world right now. I think he's one of the greatest wrestlers in the world right now. And uh, he might go down as the great, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, he's just a great performer. Very theatrical, and I love Kenny Omega. Freaking awesome. Great wrestler. He also comes with some other hands, if you guys were wondering. It comes with an extra mic holding hand, as well as a extra bang hand right there. So, there's the Kenny Omega. Then we're going to go over here to the first Young Buck. We have Nick Jackson. And props to Jazzwares giving us the cloth jacket 
with the printed on stuff it's just, just it feels like such great quality it feels great it's like a pleather material there's the up close look at his face I almost don't want to take his jacket off just because it looks so great with the tassels and whatnot and just the Elvis gear looks great uh, but we're gonna take this off just to show you guys what he looks like all right taking off the jacket and I gotta say that this freaking Nick Jackson young buck action figure looks excellent and I don't think any any of the other figures maybe the Cody comes with this torso I'm not sure but it looks perfect for the young bucks I also think the legs look great like at first I thought the legs might look a little skinny but it looks perfect in person we also get the shoe mold right there so cool we get the tassels sculpted on the side with the Elvis designs all the dots of gold Nick Jackson butt and then we have the head scan and it just looks excellent and I like how they sculpted it on the headband as well so like kind of like the when we got the Chad Gable the headband always fell off but he wears it like his entire match just like he does so I'm glad they sculpted it on so there is the freaking Nick Jackson excellent figure just so great 10 out of 10 then we have his brother right here Matt Jackson his older brother very cool comes with the same jacket except no it's actually the same exact jacket yep all right now taking the jacket off I don't want to do anything wrong here taking the jacket off all right here we have the Matt Jackson and this is pretty much the same exact figure except a different head sculpt and I think the tape might be different um, as you can see on the hand you have some more tape than the Nick one does. And I think this head sculpt is probably better than the Nick Jackson head sculpt. It looks more like Matt to me. We have the sideburns, the black hair, the ponytail. Excellent young buck. This Matt Jackson is such a talented wrestler and I could see him as a, a future world champion, if believe it or not. I know he's in the tag division with his brother, but I think both of these guys in the future will be world champions. They're just very talented. Alrighty guys, next up we have Brandy Rhodes, and this figure looks excellent. She has her nice purplish blue gear. I'm not sure if it's purple or blue, like right now it looks purple, but at other times it looks blue, but very good. Uh, I could tell that the Jazzwares took notes from the WWE figures, the women's figures, and they gave her double jointed elbows as well as double jointed knees, and that's excellent articulation. So. Uh, when AEW women's figures start coming out more often, hopefully we get that feature with the double jointed ease and all that good stuff. Uh, but this gear is from Double or Nothing 2019. It does match Cody Rhodes' gear. So very excellent. She also has her purple streaks in her hair. Very cool. Her head skin looks just like her. Just like Brandy Rhodes. So very awesome Brandy Rhodes. She also has her thigh high boots. So very excellent. The only thing is that she might be a little hard to stand due to the heels. Um, so that's always kind of been a problem with the women's figures is when they have heels it's a little hard to stand them up so you might need her like if you're gonna pose her with Cody you might need her to uh, like lean on him a little bit see like okay there we go there we go all right she's standing probably not for long but yeah there we go next up we have the Cody Rhodes right here or the Cody uh, with the sledgehammer and this is from double or nothing when he uh, hit the throne of Triple H or McMahon family Whatever it was, he hit it with a sledgehammer, so very cool sledgehammer. Uh, here is the Cody Rhodes, and this figure is so freaking excellent. The head scan looks just like Cody Rhodes. We get the nice blonde hair going throughout, and then we have the dream tattoo. And a lot of people are complaining about the skin tone of the figures, and it really depends on the lighting. Like Sometimes if you have a lot of lighting on it, it looks really pale. Um, and then other times it looks like decent, like regular skin tone color. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we also get his weight belt. It is removable. There's the back. Very awesome. And the tights. This is probably my favorite Cody Rhodes gear. It's the blue and the gold when he fought his brother Dustin at Double or Nothing. And I think this is really cool because they didn't give him knee pads, which I appreciate a lot. And instead of giving him knee pads, they give him more. It gives him more articulation, but. Instead of giving him knee pads, they sculpted it on the knees to make it look like he had knee pads underneath his tights, which is totally accurate and I think it looks a lot better 
than if knee pads were on it. So very cool. And I, if you guys were wondering, they are matching. There are some like designs in here that match her gear. So that's a very cool. Well, she probably won't stand now. Oh, she stands. All right, it's a miracle. So there's the Cody Rhodes. His boots look freaking awesome. There's the CR for Cody Rhodes. Sorry if I keep calling him Cody Rhodes. I know he can't use his last name or something like that. So there are the boots with the blue highlights going throughout. Epic Cody Rhodes. And I just think this body mold definitely fits Cody Rhodes. I think it's very cool and it's very unique. So yeah, uh, once again, right here, if you guys were wondering, the ab crunch goes pretty far because it, this part is like a rubbery material and this part's a harder plastic. So very awesome Cody Rhodes. I believe these hands are removable. Uh, they are like the... Uh, mic holding hand, so very cool. Overall, very awesome Cody Rose, and I'm super glad to have it. Next up, we have the pain maker, Chris Jericho, the first ever AEW world champion. And this figure comes fully loaded with accessories. You get the nice metal silver looking scarf. Very cool, very nice, feels high quality. Uh, we also get his hat. It's a nice soft rubbery material. And we also get his rubber jacket with a bunch of uh, cool colors going throughout and designs and I know this is rubber and a lot of people are gonna be mad about that But what I do appreciate is that they gave the young bucks cloth jackets um, And in order to give them cloth jackets They probably had to sacrifice Chris Jericho jacket and make it rubber to save money, which I'm totally fine with I think it looks excellent and we'll probably get a cloth one eventually down the line So uh, basically what I recommend doing is taking off his hands if you're gonna take the jacket off just to save the hands, just in case. If you take the jacket off, rubbery. And then if you wanna put the skin tone hands on, you totally can. And then there is, there's the Chris Jericho. And this is pretty much identical to the little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to go check it out after this one. But it's pretty much identical. The only thing that we're getting different are the accessories, a new head scan, and a new set of hands. Actually, two new sets of hands. We have the glove hands, and we have the more open mic holding hands, which I don't think we got in the last one. We could be wrong. They might have been a different set of hands. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think this Chris Jericho looks freaking awesome. Super cool. And at the, video, at the end of the video, we'll do a little comparison between the two, if you guys were wondering. If you didn't get the chance to get the, a little bit of the bubbly ringside exclusive Chris Jericho, then definitely get this one right here. But if it's still on ringside collectibles, Definitely pick that one up as well because you're gonna get accessories and all that good stuff. So there's a Chris Jericho Absolutely awesome Chris Jericho. The entire set is excellent. We're gonna end the video and get these guys into some poses So yeah, let's get to that Alrighty guys, that is it for this video excellent set of figures 10 out of 10 Such an exciting set of unrivaled figures series one so cool coming over here We have the young bucks and the Elvis gear Looking so cool, classic Young Bucks pose. Both excellent figures. And even though they're like the same like body mold and whatnot, they still have their minor differences that make them different from each other, so I think that's great. Then coming over here, we have freaking the cleaner Kenny Omega with the AEW World Championship because I wanted him to be AEW World Champion and uh, he hasn't been AEW World Champion yet, so hopefully he becomes champion down the line. Then we have Cody Rhodes, the man that is not allowed to challenge for the title ever in his career again, I guess, something like that, um, next to his wife, Brandi Rhodes. And then we have the classic Spider-Man pose where Spider-Man's pointing at the other Spider-Man, except this time it's Chris Jericho pointing at the other Chris Jericho. By the way, this is the A Little Bit of the Bubbly, and this is the current one. And to be honest, I feel like, I don't know, I think I like this head sculpt more. Just because look at the hair, I feel like the hair is a lot better sculpted on this one. Um, and I think it just resembles Chris Jericho's smile more than his mad look. But very awesome Chris Jericho overall. So, yeah. And once again, use discount code TANNER, T-A-N-N-E-R, all caps to save 10% at checkout. And I'm still blown away by me getting this Kenny Omega figure in hand. Like, so epic. And then as well as the Cody Rhodes. These are my two favorite and most sought after figures uh, out of the entire Unrivaled set. So so that's it for the video, guys. Make sure to go check these out at Ringside Collectibles. And uh, I'm pretty sure your Walmarts is going to be pretty difficult to find them. So if you never find them there, make sure to go to pick them up. Pick up the entire series at Ringside Collectibles. These things are going to fly fast. 
Use discount code Tanner. You'll save 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. WWE Fan Talk Show.